right, coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight showdown. Well, always exciting when this guy shows up on the fight card, Daniel. He is a true mixed martial artist. Not really any glaring weaknesses, at least, that he's put on film thus far. He's the new breed of fighter. Those kids that start doing everything at six years old. They start wrestling. They start doing jujitsu. They start to box. He's one of those guys that has every one of those skills, and he does them all at an A-plus level. He's got tremendous cardio. He is the type of fighter that in a few years will just litter the UFC roster across the board. And oftentimes his opponents will say he doesn't really do anything special, but he does everything at a plus level, and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup tonight. A near-perfect combination of boxing ability and technique. Few guys have been able to hold up when it comes to this guy's boxing acumen, and he'll be trying to put on a striking clinic once again here tonight. And what really has helped him is his ability to defend takedowns. It discourages his opponents from shooting on him. Right. So then they are forced to stand in the boxing range. No one manages distance better. No one understands getting in range and in out of range better than this guy. And the moment you're stuck there, you are a lame duck. He is going to find you. He's a sniper. The jab always lifts the chin. The right hand follows. And if you are able to withstand that, you got to watch for everything coming after it. And I love watching him land that beautiful left body shot as he ends a lot of his combinations. Yeah, and we talk so much about his offense, but his defense as a boxer, right? The head's never oh, on the center John line. It's almost like his head's detached from his body. Truly a sight to behold. We'll see if he can put forth another shining performance here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding professional record of 14 wins, four losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Busan, South Korea, the Korean Superboy, Do Ho Choi. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 6 feet tall, weighing in at 242 pounds, fighting out of New York, All right, commit the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. exactly where he needed it to be, and threw it with ill intent. Well, you saw us reference in the tail of the tape, DC. He's got the reach advantage and certainly made good use of it there in landing that chip. Ooh, nice slip there to avoid the punch by Choi. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Great punch, landed so much power. Well, he's looking for that left hand, just out of range, though, with it. 
perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. All right, so one minute into the fight, we've got a full-on brawl here, DC. It's great for the fans, not necessarily for the gas tank if this thing goes much longer. Not great for the gas tank and not good for the old noggin. You can't take so many upside the head. Somebody's going to Big kick. He blocks the punch. Nice punch lands over the top. And both guys really throwing with authority. And he lands a kick to the leg now. Pretty good work on the feet tonight by Choi. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. All right, so he lands a jab there. Pretty nicely done, DC. You can really control a fight just knowing how to fight behind your jab. Oh, he heard a battle of the jab. Oh, well, he's got the kicking game going tonight. Lands another one there. A beautiful kick, and all I can think of, better him than me. Oh, that's a nice strike. Block that kick to the body. Oh, single collar tie here. Right hand punch from the clinch. Straight right hand, no good. All right, single collar tie now. Big kick land. Combination lands. You want to talk about putting strikes together. Beautiful execution. There. And every one of them are landing. He's overwhelming him with different attacks. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Oh. Oh, good knees here, DC. If you're on the wrong end of those knees, what are you what are you doing to adjust? I mean, you gotta be getting out of those positions where he's kneeing you. You gotta be keeping those hands a little bit low to protect the body. You gotta just really, truly be working the entire time you guys are in close. Oh, that's a hell of a kick right there. He told us Thursday that he was gonna be kick heavy tonight, and that is certainly a step in the right direction. He is landing that strike very effectively. Oh, nice defense on the single leg attempt there. Continues to work out of that tie clinch. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. And he landed the right hand there. Well, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. All right, so a good job defensively by him here as he raises the guard and prevents any damage. Shades of James Tony. Always seeing things coming at him. He's such a great defensive fighter. Big leg kick lands. Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by the Korean Super Bowl. 30 seconds now to go in round one. Joy gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to shore up the defense here, though. Oh, nice jab counter for him there. Nice kick. Here he is back in the clinch. And they separate. Oh, caught him flush with the head kick. What a kick by this young what? man. He does a great job of disguising that technique. And before you know it, boom, he lands. All right, a lot of high-level striking action in that last round. Daniel, take us through it, if you will. Tit for tat. Who has the best chin? It seemed as though they were looking for that answer. Both guys took risk. What a fantastic round. All right, next round is underway, and what a great job defensively in the previous round. I think my face from last night's dinner is more swollen than his opponent's. I mean, he did a fantastic job of seeing when his opponent was trying to attack and getting his guard up so that he's not taking damage to the face. Great defensive fight IQ shown by this fighter. Pretty good right hand. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. 
Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Beautiful punch. Nice leg kick. Back and forth we go. Choi's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of sweat. Oh, a single column tie there. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very busy. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also gonna be able to land. He's gotta be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Nice elbow. I can't tell if that opened up a cut or not. Nice leg kick land. Oh, big punch land. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. He is going after this, that overhand right. Single collar tie now. And they separate. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one, and now starting to find himself in the pocket. Big roundhouse now, just misses. Well, if you like Muay Thai striking, this might be your moment in this fight as he gets the tie clinch. This is a massive moment. Oh! News hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Punch. Here's the kick blocked by Choi. That was a thudding leg kick. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. He just continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. Shot attempt to the head here. Instead, it's blocked by the Korean Super Bowl. Big kick lands. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Well, the right hand has been there at times, not that time. Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. Well, don't get mad, get even, right? He got stunned by his opponent earlier in the round. He's clearly been losing since. Mentally, it appears as though he's checked out a little bit. A lot easier said than done. When his opponent has the power that he possesses, it's hard for him to say, you know what? I'm going to take one to give him. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Oh, collar tie. Oh, big head to land. Oh, he continues to land a high number of strikes in this round. Really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. Certainly have to be mindful that you don't gas out, but you gotta like the output on display here. A little struggle here now for position in the clinch, and we see a lot of these situations in mixed martial arts where both fighters sort of end up getting comfortable here when there isn't a whole lot going on. And the moment somebody gets comfortable, the moment that somebody decides to relax, the moment you'll see a takedown or somebody really speed out ahead of their opponent, you got to be aware when you're chest to chest in this 50-50 position.
All right, now we check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about the display of striking? Just high level. I mean, you would think that we're watching a K-1-level right. kickboxing match right. opposed to being in the UFC. Both displayed great technical skills, unbelievable striking. Slips the punch. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Big ball for Sam. Now he gets back to range. Got the single collar tie. Look at the control of the pop. Oh! Huge right hand! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Big head kick. Trying to stay in this fight! Muay Thai Plum. Again, going back to the jab just out of range. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie, and they separate. Well, looks as though his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. Punch coming, it's blocked. Oh, single collar tie here. Got the longer reach, and he certainly showed it there in landing that straight punch. And he lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. Nice jab. Follows it up with a nice right hand. Lands flush with the left hand. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. How about that shin? Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh! oh a little single collar tie there. All right, boy, Ty Clinch. A lot of elbows and knees could be coming from here. We'll see how he chooses to attack. Yeah, it's a very great timing. And this might just be a matter of time. Oh, wow, oh! Wow! Go, let's go, it's a warning. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Top pressure being applied here. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Choi's able to make a nice transition there back into side control. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Sound strike on the ground. All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling could really be entertaining. Well, he's got his back now. Thought about a joke, instead flattens him out. And now he's got a lot of options offensively, Jack. Yeah, he's got all the options available to him. Now he just has to get all that hip pressure into his opponent's back and just start raining down on ground and pound. And if you're the bottom fighter, better start intelligently defending yourself. And they separate. Oh, he's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds. And it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a fighter take the judges out of it. Whiffs on the straight right hand. And he connects there with a punch, so pretty good striking display by him thus far. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. Closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. There's no give on that leg kick. Choice lower jaw. Oh! He's a 
in trouble. He's getting it up. Big knee. What, what a fight so good. far. Well, we now take a look back at some of the highlights from that last round, DC. A lot for the replay guys to choose from. I mean, these guys are going to be very busy trying to find what replay to show you guys. Lands on both sides of the octagon. Both guys fought great. What a phenomenal round. Three. Listen, that was awesome. We need more of that. I want you to go out at the beginning of this round and be aggressive. Peace. Are you ready? You ready? Go well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Nice kick. Oh, head kick attempt. It is blocked by right short. Nice head kick. Single collar tie now. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. And there comes the separation now. Beautifully timed and placed kick there by Joy. Oh, lands another punch there. Not a mean guy, he's just doing the smart thing. Oh, he has to be attacking that cut, John. I mean, if he's not, then he's doing his opponent a favor. Attack that cut. Make him pay for it. Wow! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, he might be out. Oh! Mixes in an elbow for good measure. Blocks the shot. And now he's got that tie clinch. We'll see what he can do with it. You gotta get deep here. Nice punch there by the Korean Super Bowl. Huge knee lands from in close. Powerful leg kick land. Oh, some of the best kicks you'll see right there, live and in color. And that one certainly found the target. Joy's kick to the body is blocked. Oh, buckled him there. Beautiful shot to the body. Great upper body movement defensively. Slips another strike there. And offensively, he hasn't been a world beater, but defensively, he's been strong tonight. And that has to cause frustration for the opponent. Not being able to hit a guy that's won. An elbow! He's in trouble. off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Oh, he postured up there. Gained some valuable separation. And now, the ground and pound starts. Uh, looks like he's got a couple hooks in here, DC. And defensively, you better be careful. Now he'll try to start attacking a rear naked choke from the top position. He is doing a really good job of relaxing. Not panicking because he's getting choked. He got it. He got it, John. Oh, he got it done. Absolutely. He finishes his opponent by way of submission. as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He does a great job of staying patient. He doesn't rush or panic. You are never safe when you're fighting this guy. You're in a lot of trouble. You're in a lot of trouble the entire time when you're this good in the submission.
So there he is, your winner by submission, and that's exactly how you put the rest of this division on notice. Looks like this guy could be a factor moving forward in this division. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliotta is going to stop to this contest at 3 minutes, 26 seconds of round number 4. Declaring the winner by tap out. Well, what an incredible result here tonight as you see the winner there celebrating his victory by way of submission. And they put so much stock into finishing this fight. They felt like to really spin his career forward, they needed to not just win but get the finish, and they certainly got it tonight. They got the finish. He's such a terrific grappler. Every time he is on his back, he looks for submissions over and over again. Eventually, he found one tonight and got the desired result.